looking at the Nike Zoom Structure 21. Updates from the 20, 11 ounces down to 10.4 ounces. To me, and I'm in this probably 100 miles in the shoe, uh, really, you, you read the updates from Nike, you ask them what, what really updated. They just tried to lighten up the upper materials and set you up in a shoe that's lighter weight, but really you still have all that stability underneath. Compared to the 20, is very, very similar as far as stability goes, how the upper wraps your foot. It's a fly mesh all the way around, so no seams. Uh, dynamic fit, so it really wraps you into the arch for a good stability shoe and dual density. So what you get is the shoe is made for someone running high mileage that overpronates, but now it's 10.4 ounces. What they do with the outsole is basically here, you'll see where on this crash pad on the medial side, they fill it in and you don't see these little white areas that are more flexible and deeper grooved. That makes this a little more stable, makes this a little more flexible than through the forefoot as you toe off. And so you're getting full ground contact. Shoes, you know, years ago used to have a lot of cutouts and some spaces that didn't hit the ground. Now you're getting a shoe that has a nice wide base and it touches the ground the whole way through. So it adds some stability for you without adding weight by sticking in a bunch of heavy rubber to stop you from overpronating. You'll see how they draw attention to the change in the stability wedge here through the shoe. And as you're rolling from this reddish material into the gray, what you're finding is that on this medial side, it's more structured, it's not as squishy, soft, and so it holds you up a little bit. So really, not a huge update as far as what's underneath your foot. I think people that had good luck in the 20 before are gonna have good luck in this. And we'll keep running them and make sure nothing wears out prematurely. But one thing I would say about their upper is that it always holds up well. Nike's uppers with the fly mesh that they're doing are just a long lasting upper and people don't seem to prematurely wear out and put holes in them anywhere. So uh, really good shoe, 10 millimeter drop, 10.4 ounces in the men's and high mileage for stability. Thank you.